what kind of fun is it for you guys to be playing on a stage that big? It's a lot of fun. It's, like, it's, what, you know, I, it's what we'd like to end up doing. I, I don't hit him with my bass. Yeah. <laughs> well, outside of the obvious, you know, getting killed half yeah. the time. Get to run around a lot more, and mm -hmm. I mean, the, the little pointing we do in the clubs, now we're actually pointing at something. You know, <laughs> we're pointing at people rather than the wall in the club. So what were you saying? We were setting some kind of a record for, like, not being on Much East? Is that, is that bothering you or something? Yeah, we were deeply hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been, like, over probably a year now. Well, not quite. No, no. I mean, you think it was the spring or something, right? Is it spring? Yeah, well, April. Close enough. Well, why don't you give me a, uh, a fast little uh, explanation of just what you think you've been up to since then. We played the East Coast Music Awards. Like, you know, that week in Moncton? That was the start of our world tour, by the way. The world tour? The world tour, that was the start. And? Went on tour with Rusty and Change of Heart for about a month, across Canada, another Cross Canada tour, which was a blast. And we get a call from our management saying, uh, yeah, you guys are going on tour with a band called ZZ Top. And we're like, what? He's like, yeah, ZZ Top. So after a bit of convincing, we, were, we believed them. And so we had to go out there another week later, and which was awesome because we get to play arenas all across. The, well, you know, from Vancouver to Winnipeg, five shows. Now, was that your first, that was your first arena experience? <coughs> yeah. And was it uh, was it all a fabulous experience, or was there downsides to it? There was one downside. Which was? Fact, fact was that they were uh, they weren't they weren't too nice to us. Yeah. You know, but I mean, I didn't care if they watched us or whatever. You know. Or, but like, you know, we were, I remember we were standing backstage in Edmonton all dressed up, we were guitars on, Billy Gibbons walked by us like twice and didn't even, you know, say hi, bye, good luck, you know. Have a good show. Nothing. What are you guys up to now? Are you, are you doing another record? What the hell are you doing? Well, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get songs from yeah. the next record, you know. We've been, we've been away from home for seven months and I don't know, you know, for some bands they can write on the road. I find it hard. Like I gotta be sitting home in my room with my record player, you know, in my basement with my amp. I guess that's that's where I come up with songs. And so, like, we're just starting to do that now. We have about four or five songs going right now. About 30 more to go. So. Planning on going to Japan, I think, and. March. Okay. The record's coming out over there, and it's gonna have like two extra songs. Then expect a live record in uh, in, in June, um, an oxide live at Budokan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see Japan and stuff. Uh, but, you know, when we get back, we, we find out if we still have a record company or not. Uh, well, that's always a big question, isn't it, fellas? Right now, with us, it yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. We never know, day to day. But if you didn't for some reason, that wouldn't stop you, would it? No, of course not. Because it comes down to whether the songs are good. See, if we lose our label, I mean, we're still a rock band. You know, we rock. 